This video is going to discuss how to do stoichiometry problems where you're not given pictures, but instead you're actually given um, words. So in this scenario, you have 46 grams of CH4 and 70 grams of O2. You need to find the limiting reactant and how many grams of CO2 and H2 are produced, and if you have any excess. excess. So the first thing, um, as you know, is that we always start by, so we're going to start by um, writing out um, our equation. So that's the first thing. So we have CH4 as a reactant, and we have O2 as a reactant. And we're told that it's producing CO2 and H2O. So this is our classic combustion reaction where we have a fuel being burned using oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. And water. So the first thing is write the equation. The second thing that um, you need to do is you need to balance the equation. So in this case, to balance the equation, I know that I have two O2s and two H2Os. Okay? So the next part is, is you notice, and you have to be very aware that you have your reactants in grams. So we need to prep that so that we can work with moles because your equation actually only deals with moles. This equation says that for every one mole of CH4, you need two moles of O2 to produce one mole of CO2 and two moles of H2O. So it's not talking about grams, it's talking about moles, and so we need to convert grams to moles. All right, and that's using the periodic table. We do a simple conversion. So we have here the ratio. I know that CH4, one mole of it, thanks to my periodic table, carbon has a, a molar mass of 12 grams, hydrogen one, we have four of them. It works out to be 16 grams. For O2, one mole of O2, each O2, I know is 16 grams, so two of those is 32 grams. Okay, so that gets me ready to do my proportions. So it makes no difference how you set it up, but you remember that for these proportions, you want to make sure that what is equal to each other is in one fraction. So one mole of CH4 is going to be over 16 grams. CH4. And how much do we actually have? We have 46 grams. Because it's grams, we want to make sure that the same, um, that the grams is on the bottom just like uh, it is here for the CH4. And this is our X, okay? So it works out to be, if I do the calculation correctly, that we have 2.81 moles of CH4. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take that 70 grams and convert it into moles. I know that one mole O2 is 32 grams. And in this case, I have 70 grams of that, and this is my X. And if I do my calculation, it tells me that I have 2.19 moles of O2. Okay, so now I've prepped it. That's key. When you have grams, you need to make sure you convert it into moles. Now we can do our BCA table. Okay, so let's do CH4 over here, O2 over here, create a line. We have CO2 over here and H2O. All right, so we know that we started with 2.81 moles of CH4, I got that number from here, and 2.19 moles of O2, and because this is before the reaction, these reactants have not combined, we don't have any product yet. So the next step in all of this, step number four, I'll write it up here, is identify limiting reactant. And in this case, I need to I need to look at my equation. So I know it's a one to two ratio. For every one mole of CH4, I have two moles of O2. So that means in this case here, if I have 2.81 
moles of CH4, I need to have double the amount of O2 um, because it's a one to two ratio. And clearly I don't. So I identify this being the limiting reactant because I need to have something like 5.62 and I only have 2.19 uh, moles of O2. So this is the one that I'm going to base all my conversions or calculations on. So I know this will run out first. So that means that I have 2.19 um, moles that will run out because it'll all be used up. If I only have 2.19 moles of O2, how many of my CH4 are going to be used? And so for this one, you're like, well, I have a two to one ratio, so it means half of that CH4, half of this number is going to be used. So in other words, I am going to say that if I do my division correctly, it works out to be about 1.10, because that's half of that, okay? So what does that mean for how much product is there made? So I know that for every two moles of O2, I have one mole of CO2 being produced. So if I have 2.19 moles, that means I have about 1.10 moles being produced, and I make sure to put a plus sign here. And for this one, it's a two to two ratio. That means that they are the same, and I do write down a plus 2.19 moles. Okay, so now comes my math. It looks like I have excess CH4, which is what I expected. I simply am subtracting these. Here I have none left over. It was all used up. And I have 1.10 moles of CO2 and 2.19 moles of H2O. The last step I need to do, or one of the next steps I need to do, is I need to convert these moles into grams. And why is that? Because I'm asked for how many grams there are. So I set up my ratio again. I know that um, one mole CO2 equals 48 grams. And I know that one mole of H2O equals 18 grams. So I set up my proportion. So I know one mole CO2 is 48 grams. And I actually have, in this case, 1.10 moles. And this is my X. So that tells me that I have 52.8 grams CO2 produced. And in this one, I have one mole H2O, and that is 18 grams. And my, I have 2.19 moles of H2O and my X. And this works out to be about, about 38 grams. Okay, the numbers don't have to be perfect. So this is how many grams CO2 I have, and this is how many grams of H2O that are going to be produced. The last question is, well, how much excess is left over in grams? I have 1.17 moles of this, and I know that the ratio for CH4 for grams to moles is that one mole CH4 is equal to 16 grams and I cross multiply and when I do cross multiply I should get a number of 27.36 grams and that answers all of those questions.